recently I had the opportunity to loan out one of my robots. So Zach and Diana from Scorpio's team uh, wanted to go down to a SCAR event in Southern California. Um, a teammate of theirs, Daniel, who has helped us. He was there for part of our team when we went to face-offs. Uh, was running his very first event as the event organizer. So this was kind of a, a new area for him. And of course, in the community, we really like to support each other. So Zach wanted to be there to support his event. And I wanted to help out too. So this was a great opportunity. So Zach borrowed uh, my 30-pound robot disinformation, or well, what was left of my robot. Um, so he had some fixing up to do so we could go down there and, uh, and support this event. So... Uh, Recently, I got my robot back. So uh, let's look at some of the footage from the fights down there and then we can see what I, what I got back afterwards. Kampf, Roboterkampf. Das war meine Chance. Hitze, Hitze. So obviously things didn't go well for Zach at that particular event. Um, they didn't really have enough time to do any testing. So he got it all put back together and basically tested that everything was working on the bench. But the first time he actually spun the robot up was in the test box there at, uh, at the event. And so they didn't quite have the, the speed controllers program completely and whatnot. So he still he had some fighting to do with it. Um, but at least he was able to be there, be able to support Daniel's event, and got a couple of, couple of matches out of it. You may remember that Disinformation, the last time I ran it, was RoboGames last year, and we essentially burnt the thing to the ground. So he had a lot of work to get this back to, back to a running state. And so now that I got the robot back, let's, let's you know, pull it out and see what we got and see how it, uh, see how it looks. So let's pop this up and get this guy out of here. And he cleaned up or not. That, that, that thing smells. <laughs> that thing smells. We've got to get out of this stench. Smell bad. Stench? Of what speakers thou? Get this guy out of here. Okay, so Zach uh, renamed it Borrowed Time, which was actually fairly appropriate since he borrowed the robot. Um, he had a complete cover for it there, but when that chain broke, it uh, tore part of that cover apart. So this is, this is what we got now. See what all we got in here. Okay. Well. All right. Okay. Well, it. It no longer looks like a burnt to the ground robot. It still, <laughs> it still smells like one. Um, so most of these parts are either what I, what I had and gave him, or um, some other stuff he had. So obviously, um, the weapon speed controller was damaged and wasn't usable. So this is this is a new one in here. Um, looks like most of the other. You put a new put a new switch in too. So most of what he had to do was just really kind of clean up 
the junk that was because it was it was all full of a burnt mess in here. <laughs> you can still see looking at the bolts how they all, all of them are <laughs> tinged from being overheated. But hey, it's all back together and it does in fact still work. So where does that leave poor disinformation now? Um, I had no intention of this robot still being around and working this long after I built it. This was more of an experiment for me playing with the all plastic design and it's, it's, it's had a pretty long life expectancy at this point. So what am I doing with it from here? Well, as you see it, and I, I, I hate to say it won't see the arena again because I've said that a bunch of times and it keeps finding a way to get back in there. But I have no intention of fighting this as it sits again. However, um, I do plan on rebuilding it. Um, so eventually what I'm planning on doing is um, there'll be some changes to its basic layout. Instead of the drum, I might actually have a couple of vertical discs. I plan on trying to shrink this down. There's a lot of dead space inside. Um, so I'll see if I can compact this quite a bit. I might switch to uh, brushless, get a short little outrunners there. I can make everything there smaller. So this was a great test vehicle for some of the things I wanted to do. Down the road, if I'm going to rebuild this, I'm going to make it more compact than, than how it is right now. So my intention is still to come back with this eventually. Um, you know, I may go back to Norwalk, events back there are a lot of fun. So uh, that's, that's my intention. So you probably see it again. You're just not going to see it like this. This is, this, is, this, is, this is it. I'm not putting this back in the arena. Not doing it. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you like what we're doing on the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps us make more content. And we'll have more stuff whenever I get around to rebuilding this guy.